Okay, at that point that you move or look, go ahead and execute your down, your inward block. This is a temporary position, don't keep it permanent. Now go back out on the proper angle, which is going to be at about 130. Shoot your half fist and make sure your block hand is where you can see over the top of it. We can do the next move. Step out and deliver your half fist. Make sure you don't turn your back leg when you do so. Step up to your horse. Close. All right, that concludes, completes uh, short form two and short form one. The next form we're going to be looking at is short form three. So, as we start to look at that particular form, we're going to look at more complicated motion, as in the idea of full techniques, okay? So we're talking about 13 techniques in this particular form. What you want to pay attention to is not only the form, but pay attention to the basics that you're applying, as well as applying um, the string and the timing that you need to actually work the technique, okay? All right, gentlemen, here we go. Short from three. <coughs> Left over right. One. Two. Three. Four. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Two. Good. All right. That was a lot harder than the first two forms. We've gone through three forms that contrast styles, techniques, basics, and basic segments. So in these particular three forms, you're pretty much getting the full grasp of how a lot of the techniques are going to move for you, say, from green belt through brown belt. You have an understanding of your basics, and as you start to have a un better understanding of those basics, you can actually take the time and not go through the motion. Okay? That's the motion, and everybody can do that. But you can take the time to hit that neutral ball, shoot their hands and bring them back to the proper spot, work the inward block and the vertical outward block so you have your basic, understand how that forward bow pushes you forward while you deliver a spear, and pull it, pivot back and let yourself pull yourself back either into your horse stance or your neutral ball. Okay? And that was the one technique, and you want to be doing that for all 13 techniques in the form. So 13 techniques, a lot of motion, going to the opposite direction. No two techniques are ever done on the same line. And remember that, that's the hard part. No two techniques are ever done on the same line, okay? In reality, this is your first mass attack form, okay? Technically your second mass attack form because your first mass attack we talked to you at, at Purple Belt and it was called TND1. If you've got that TND1 down, this should be a piece of cake. If you don't and you get this one down, then TND1 is like sliced butter. So you can have a lot of fun with both forms. Okay, so we're going to now go ahead and have 
These guys do the form again. They're all rested. Okay, your numbers. Go. That's two. Two. Three. Four. Still three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, okay, okay, so you're seeing contrasting styles as you're working the form. Mr. Pereira has more solid, strong, hard-hitting motion right off the bat. Mr. Mr. Allen here likes to flow through his movements, but when he flows through it too much, he loses a lot of power and continuity and the thinking aspect of where we're, where we're supposed to be at. So I want to take time real quick like and go over part of short form three. Okay, and that's in this particular spot where I use this line, and we'll call this my neutral ball as I step forward, okay? But when I go to step off that line and I pivot, okay, I want to see you push forward and notice that line as you're going forward. This hand will go the opposite direction, and if you look, this is basically the same direction that the line that I was on as I move forward, okay? If we look at the next technique, which is crashing wings, when we come back to crashing wings, we're going to move back to this line, dropping, dropping into our horse or our neutral bow at that particular point. Before we move back, and look how my leg moves parallel to this particular line as I turn the fork, go into my elbow, and work the hammer fist strike. Okay? Now remember, there is an elbow, but it's executed to two spots one to the back side, hitting your opponent on the chest or into the body continuing to flow up, and you have to be able to show that, one, two, before your hand drops with the claw, and you deliver that hammer fist. You don't actually need the claw, just drop that hand, elbow back into it. Okay, so you have these little things, these little asterisk-like markers, which is basically nothing more than your clock position. So, when you guys get a chance, Try to get, if you've got a place to practice at home, say the garage or a patio on the back or something of that nature, take some tape and make yourself an asterisk, okay? That way when you're working and you're pulling and you're dropping into your stances and you can see how your stances are supposed to be going, okay? Especially if you're on your back side and we turn from this line here and you move forward, you're looking at how you're moving parallel or on those particular lines all the way through. All right, one other thing I wanted to show. Where we're going into scraping hooks, and we come out of, uh, we come out of a begging hands, or not begging hands, fatal cross. Where I move from this spot, hook, okay, we'll pull back if we've worked it into a neutral ball. So we've got, uh, We've got that movement right here, and we'll step forward with the right foot, shoot the punch, cross punch, and then push into the spear. And each particular technique, you've noticed something going on. You're hitting your neutral ball, and you're hitting your forward ball. Neutral ball, forward ball, and in some cases a reverse ball. Use your cat stance again as a transition stance, okay? And as we do so, we, then you start to see how your weight is either dropping or rotating, okay? And you can see that, where I pushed out here from one forward bow or reverse bow, and I pushed forward into the other side, you can see how your balance will change from one, two, three, okay? Especially if you're doing that slow, okay? 
Uh, what other spot did I want to see? You guys have any questions? No. Okay. Uh, crashing wings. Crashing wings. Wings of silk. Okay, one other spot. One other thing. If you understand that you have 13 techniques in the form, try to complete the technique before going into the next one. Okay, prime example is where we go into grip a bit, we hit and we do this strike, okay? I'm finished with the technique at this particular spot, but where I go to pivot and that hand drops, I work into that elbow strike, rotating to the forward ball with the claw, forcing that face away, and then pull them in prior to pivoting back into this next move. Now when I go into the next move, that's the end of the technique. The beginning of the next technique, you don't start until you say the number, okay? So whatever the number of this particular technique, let's call it six, and we call seven. There's my seven there as I pull forward to go back into the overhead elbow. You should be able to see that if you know what the technique is, all right? The hardest part is when we do this. I want you to do this with me, okay? Grip with that. Just 